The Nigerian Army graduated 230 personnel of Nigerian Company 2 pre-deployment training, the occasion which attracted elites of the society. The acting commandant of the Nigerian Army Peacekeeping Center, Brigadier General Okudili Fidelis, says in his address that the Nigerian Army experiences in the 1990s in Liberia and Syria alone as part of the economic operations needed training and also prepare the troops. This morning we witnessed the graduation of Nigerian Complete 2 pre-deployment training and the renaming of Nigerian Army Peacekeeping Center. These two related ceremonies he then mentioned that the renaming of the Nigerian Army Peacekeeping Center as Martin Luther Aguay International Leadership Peacekeeping Center is no doubt a milestone in the institution when it started. As a wing in 2004 evolved to Center of Excellence in 2009, and today it's National and International Center for Training of Leaders, Peacemakers, Peacekeepers, and also Peace Builders. Let me remind all personnel of the unit that acquiring knowledge and skills is a continuous process. You must therefore continue to work hard to improve on your knowledge and skills in order to be professional in your conduct. Speaking, Aguay noted that peacekeeping was gradually becoming an intercompany issue with the military at the center stage following internal conflict such as ethnic, religious and other crises. Administrators, economists, Police officers, legal experts, the miners, electoral uh, observers. He, however, noted that Nigeria has been involved in peacekeeping operations in Africa and world at large, but had not repeated the economic and diplomatic benefits of such venture. Jumai Manson, Liberty News.